Hi guys, this is Kelvin. I'm going to go through some of the features of our Blue Notes and Borrowed Chords uh, Ableton Chord Rack, and that's currently available on Loop Masters. So when you install this Chord Rack, basically what you're going to get is a, a zip file from Loop Masters. It's a download. Inside that will be an ALS file. Just simply double click the ALS file and it'll launch this session. There are 30 chord sets in this particular rack. Uh, and there are additional chord sets in the first rack we put out, which is the Deep House and Jazz Chords Rack. If you're interested in checking that out, you can just simply click on this link and find out more about that rack there. So basically what you're getting, as I mentioned, is a, a set of chord sets. Um, and with each chord set, you can simply scroll through uh, those using this macro here. Um, in each particular case, uh, we've listed what the various chords are in the particular chord set. And there's some additional features that help you modify the way it plays. Uh, there's a fixed velocity, uh, so you can set the velocity that the chords play at. The note velocity will add a little bit of randomization to the notes after that, so you can get a more of a human feel. If you wish, you can pitch everything up and down. And we also include an arpeggio. And there are some various macros here that will control uh, the functions of the arpeggio if you want to arpeggiate your chords. By default, the session's going to load up with a uh, Rhodes emulation, so uh, there's no need to install anything to, to hear sounds. But um, I've actually decided to remove that and throw in uh, the Korg M1 for this demonstration. So I'm just going to go through a couple of the chord sets and a couple of the patches here on the M1, and you'll get a sense of uh, the kind of chords that are included in this particular rack. So let's start with uh, chord set one. And I'll change this patch here and let's switch it out to a different chord set. Try that one. So I'm playing all of these chords with one finger. Uh, that's kind of the beauty of this is that you don't need to be, uh, you know, amazing on the keys to be able to come up with some really nice progressions. And these are really cool chords. Um, you can find a, a little bit more about uh, why we called them blue notes and borrowed chords here in this text. But essentially these are played uh, by, you know, trained musicians, jazz and blues musicians who are coming up with some really interesting chord combinations. So uh, that's it. Uh, it's a pretty simple uh, process to install, and we think you're going to get a lot of fun out of uh, some really, really nice chord sets with Blue Notes and Barred Chords. So thanks for checking this out.